There are a lot of nice guys out there who are left wondering why all their efforts to be nice are not being rewarded in dating and relationships. They think, hey, in movies and TV shows the nice guy gets the girl in the end, so why doesn't that work for me in real life? The simple truth is that in actual life experience, being overly nice just doesn't attract women for most men. In fact, there are many reasons why women are turned off by guys who are too nice. Let's discuss 8 key reasons nice guys often finish last when it comes to dating success. But before we begin, if you just found this channel, make sure you subscribe to get high value dating advice every day. Now let's dive in. First and foremost, women are biologically wired to admire and respect strength and masculinity in a mate. If you come across as overly nice, it can be perceived as the opposite of strength, it can be seen as weak. Here's the thing, nice guys frequently allow others, including women, to take advantage of their eager-to-please nature. Often, nice guys don't even realize they are being taken for granted. They encounter women who will gladly take advantage of their niceness, but those women won't be genuinely attracted to them or respect them as a man. Nice guys typically have difficulty establishing boundaries and commanding respect from others. What women unconsciously pick up on when a man struggles with this is that he lacks the ability to stand up for himself. And if he can't stand up for himself, how can he be expected to stand up to protect her? In all relationships, romantic or otherwise, you have to teach people how you expect to be treated by establishing boundaries and making sure they are respected. Nice guys often fail at this crucial skill, and it turns women off. A man who can firmly set boundaries and make people respect them is far more likely to attract women and earn their admiration. Another major reason many women dislike nice guys is that they often use niceness as a manipulative ploy. Here's how it often goes. A lot of guys aren't genuinely nice just for the sake of being decent. They act nice in order to curry favor with women and get affection or sex. They believe that if they are just nice enough to a woman, she'll owe them her affection. This is an extremely weak and transparent move. Just because you act nice to someone does not mean they owe you anything in return, including attention or affection. Often, self-proclaimed nice guys will go overboard with favors and gestures, and then get angry or resentful if their niceness isn't rewarded as they expected. A huge red flag in these so-called nice guys is that they appear to think being nice entitles them to a woman's intimacy and approval. Manipulation is manipulation, whether done boldly or behind a nice facade. Feigning niceness in order to emotionally pressure a woman into liking you back is a major reason being overly nice turns many women off. I also want to point out that being excessively nice can be a terrible strategic approach to dating in general. That's because acting super nice automatically puts you in a position of lower value and causes the woman to look down on you. One of the quickest ways to turn a woman off is to say or do things that cause her to pity you, feel superior to you, or view you as beneath her. Yet this is exactly the perception created when a man puts a woman on a pedestal and showers her with compliments and favors she hasn't earned. As I often say, women want a man they can look up to and respect not one they feel sorry for. It's difficult to genuinely respect someone you view as beneath you. People are naturally drawn to and influenced by those they see as being above them in the social hierarchy. When you put a woman on a pedestal and place her in a superior position in relation to yourself, it becomes impossible for her to admire you. Thus, she will rarely develop a strong attraction for a man who assumes a position of lower value than herself. This ties directly into the next reason women dislike nice guys. It's exceedingly difficult for a yes man to be seen as a strong leader. I make no apologies for being old fashioned, but I firmly believe men should lead in romantic relationships and most feminine women have no problem following a man they can look up to. Women simply are not wired to admire or feel attraction for men they can dominate and control. Yet being overly nice makes it almost impossible to lead a woman effectively. Part of being an attractive leader is the willingness to say no and stand firm on your decisions when needed. Nice guys have a tremendously hard time doing this. Good leadership occasionally requires making unpopular choices for the greater good. There will be times you have to put your foot down and say no, even to your woman. 
A strong woman needs to respect this ability in her man. If you can't firmly stand your ground on issues when you know you are right, how can a woman rely on you? Leaders must be capable of standing on their own two feet, even if some people end up not liking their decisions. Being too nice makes this difficult. A woman wants a man who is decisive and self-assured in his choices, even under social pressure. Spineless nice guys struggle mightily in this area. Now, the next reason might be difficult for nice guys to hear, but I'm here to give you the unvarnished truth about why women don't fall for the overly nice and accommodating type. Are you ready? It's because being too nice is boring to most women. That's right. You may actually be repelling women by being overly nice. Because at the end of the day, the excessively agreeable nice guy is predictable and dull. Always saying yes, constantly being a pushover, never challenging or surprising her. This type of guy represents the epitome of predictability, which always leads to monotony in relationships. In many cases, the classic nice guy also brings very little mystery or intrigue to the table. He is an open book, eager to please, quick to agree with everything she says, and unwilling to upset the apple cart under any circumstances. After a while, she can predict his reactions and responses to just about anything. Make no mistake, what women crave is a confident man who keeps them guessing and challenges them. The nice guy who never rocks the boat soon bores women to tears. Along the same lines, nice guys are often way too available to the woman right from the start before they have even earned that privilege. This is one of the hallmarks of nice guy behavior that turns many women off. The nice guy acts as if he should be at her back and call 24-7 from day one. He believes always being available to the woman he desires is romantic or seductive. In reality, it just comes across as desperate and clingy. Don't get me wrong. A woman does want your attention, but not all of your attention. She wants you to demonstrate that you have a full life of your own, interests that don't revolve around her. Tying into that, one of the main themes I discuss on this channel is that women are extremely attracted to men who have a strong sense of purpose and mission. If you're out grinding to achieve big goals, by definition you will not be available to her every free minute of the day. The reality is that women love seeing tangible evidence that a man has his own purpose, passions, and mission aside from her. It demonstrates that he is deciding the course of his own life rather than basing his happiness on her whims. A woman's attraction skyrockets for the man subtly demonstrating he has a full, rewarding life to which she is welcome to join not desperately trying to carve out a space in his schedule 24-7 just to spend time with her. Next up on the list of reasons women don't appreciate nice guys, it reveals a lack of authenticity. As I touched on earlier, most nice guys aren't genuinely being their real selves. They are playing a role, acting the part of an agreeable, complimentary gentleman because they believe it will get them a woman. But nobody is actually that nice all the time in real life. Everyone has their own views and opinions that don't align with others 100% of the time. Even guys attempting to be nice from a sincere place often do it out of a place of insecurity and fear of being themselves. Again, this comes across as extremely weak to women. It's perfectly fine to have your own strong opinions, assert yourself, and stand up for what you believe in. Oftentimes, nice guys are so afraid of offending or being disagreeable that they hide their true selves. But women would much rather interact with an authentic, confident man than a phony playing the part of the polite, nice gentleman. Now, I can already predict some nice guys will hear this and assume it means they need to become a bad boy or a jerk to attract women. But that conclusion would miss the point entirely. I'm not telling you to be a jerk or a bad boy. I'm telling you that instead of just being generically nice, you should strive to be kind. There is a huge difference between true kindness and niceness. A kind man is compassionate, caring, and giving, but he does it out of the goodness of his heart, not with any ulterior motive of getting something in return. A kind man engages in altruistic behavior simply because it's the right thing to do, not because he expects it will. If you enjoyed this video, show some love by hitting that like button. We really appreciate all your thoughtful feedback, so keep the comments coming. Share this with friends who you think need to hear this advice too.
And if you want to show extra support, use the super thanks button to buy us a coffee and fuel more videos. We truly appreciate your support. Thanks for watching and until next time friends.